Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be kind of going over the Roblox Classic event and kind of what's going on, what we know, some drama going on, and my personal feelings on it. So first off, if you've been living under a rock, the Roblox Classic event is kind of like Roblox in its own way, par parrying like older versions of it, like and older games like uh, Crossroads, um, Sky High Brick Battles, I think it is, where the so is in the towers. Um, you know, stuff like that, right? And you can even see it in the way the stuff's built. Kind of natural design of Sylvester. Wow, I can't speak today. But, um, yeah, so first off, what we know. We know that there's 15 games across them. There's the badges, which are called... Well, you get a currency by earning the badges that are tokens, right? And you can also get ticks by finding them in the game. However, they are not attached to to um, the badges at all, right? And also, we only have five days to do this event. So as soon as it drops, you're going to want to finish it fast. Because, I mean, even for the hunt, we had two weeks and some people couldn't finish that in five days. This is, has almost double the amount of badges, I think. Because even though there's way less games, they have way more badges, right? So obviously, complete quest to earn tokens, badges for tokens, find the ticks, and classic takes over in the hub. And I think that's going to be kind of like an update in the, the hunt hub, right? So pretty much you're going to be able to redeem your items by going into the hub and spending tokens or ticks. So you can get items, gear, all kind of like classic quote-unquote items that are kind of rebranded in modern Roblox. I think that might be why they updated the UGC, I have no idea. But uh, anyways, here's some of the, here is the definitive list of games that we know, all 15. We have A Dusty Trip, Adopt Me, Bed Wars, Beast from Simulator, Dragon Adventures, Dress to Impress, Driving Empire, Gunfight Arena, Live Topia, Toilet Tower Defense, Tower Defense Simulator, Restaurant Tycoon 2, Blade Ball, Clip It, and Arsenal. And what we do know is that these games had way more time to develop than they did for the hunt. And I can almost confirm this because Beast from Simulator often doesn't participate unless it has extensive amount of time so that they, cause the dev is a perfectionist and he's not gonna be in the event unless he has enough time to make and do the event, right? And I'm confident like after the hunt, they were like, yeah, we're not fucking this up again. So we're gonna give everyone a good amount of time. So I'm sure everyone here has had plenty amount of time. So, unless they come out with some crazy information, all of these should be held accountable if they're not good, but I have hope and confidence that they will be good. We do know that the games will most likely take place on a separate instance outside of the main game because each of the games have a portal, and you go through that portal, assumingly, to kind of a retro or classic version of the game. And doing so will then allow you to get the ticks or badges, right? And I do want to say that some of these, some people might have their opinions on them. They might be good or bad. Either way, if the event is good, you cannot flame the game, even if you don't like it. Because it's really about the event. As long as the event's good, then honestly, the game doesn't matter, right? Because I feel like the way it is, the events are almost going to be separate from the main game in its own right, right? It's just kind of like the devs that are working on it almost. And I saw... <laughs> God. It's so funny. Pet Sim 99 tips and tricks. But they left out the best game. Pet Simulator! Oh god. No one wants Pet Simulator in this, bro. Even if they could cook. No one wants them here, bro. And people were complaining Natural Disaster Simulator is them. Most of the games aren't even classic. Pray for classic downfall. And a lot of people just really hate this. And I don't quite see why. I think I did see kind of a couple leaks of the events. Gunfight Arena is going to make you use classic items to fight each other. I did also make like a preliminary tier list on how I think the games will be. Um, F tier is like nobody wants to play this. S tier is like I could play this for a whole year. And B tier is like that was a good event. I'm happy I played that, right? Just to kind of give perspective on it. Um, Livetopia. 
is kind of I feel like it could be good but just the fact that it's a role play game I'm not sure I'm not confident like these are the games I have confidence in S and A tier and after that it's kind of foggy like I don't know will it be good will it not be good and I do want to highlight as well this is Blade Ball not Death Ball which was a peak game for the hunt however it is not here and Blade Ball is here so I'm hoping that they don't do some lame ass quests like they did for the hunt. Um, Dragon Adventures was okay. It was kind. Of, it was the in-game Easter event. They just made you do it. Clip it. That wasn't there for the hunt. Driving Empire, lame do quests. Restaurant Tycoon, just feed people. I have very high hope that there will be unique events for these. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. But um, yeah. And some of you are like classic event. If it was good. No hate to DJ Ninja, by the way. Um, Natural Disaster Survival, that's certainly classic, certainly classic. All of these are hood classics, right? Like, you would look back and it's like, yeah, classic Roblox. Ah, I remember those days. But, something I think that's important is that when we're thinking about this event, I'm trying to think of it from Roblox, oh goodness, Roblox's perspective. And, I'm kind of thinking like, they didn't choose a single classic game. So what I'm assuming is that this classic event is almost like a homage to classic Roblox using like kind of newer gen developers. Now I do know some of them are old, but uh, eight years like Adopt Me and Be Swarm. But even so, they weren't in classic Roblox. These are classic Roblox. And I do know that a lot of these devs are also inactive now, aside from a couple of these like Plea Facility, Murder Mystery, adding like skins occasionally. I know Natural Desires, they were in the hunt. They're still really active. I don't think because this is kind of paying a homage to classic Roblox, this wouldn't be in it. But I have a feeling they're gonna be in the next event and they're gonna cook for sure. But um, yeah, it is unfortunate that no, that no true classic games are gonna be in the event. But I think that's just not the point of the event, if that makes sense. And another funny one I thought was, uh, surreal posting not a single classic game in the entire classic event and yeah i, I mean i can understand that perspective because the way they kind of advertise it it was like wow we get to play all these classic games again but no you get to play classic versions of all these new gen games so it was kind of like a backstab no hate to surreal either way but um yeah it was really funny when i saw this there's like so many funny posts uh, yeah, we went over that, we went over that. And there are just a couple stuff, like, Treasure Finder. There are a couple new packs. Um, if you want, they're really expensive. 19000 that's like... Isn't that, wait, isn't that $200? Yeah, that's like $200. Hold on, who's buying that? That's a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I made the same mistake before. I did a practice recording. This is not child-appropriate. But, um, yeah, the, I mean, these are classic Roblox events. I do want to say, though, that they are showing these games. But if we're being legitimate, only a couple of the ones they're showing here are even fun. Like, on the top of my head, that one wasn't fun. That one wasn't fun. That one was okay. That's okay. That's okay. Like, people have almost, like, this nostalgic feeling of classic Roblox games. But I bet if they revisit them, they're like, wow, this is kind of lame. Because, I mean, we've all grown up. It's been 10 years since quote-unquote classic Roblox. If we're going with the theory that classic Roblox is 2012 to 2016. It has been a long time. And I just don't think we'll get, we wouldn't get the same enjoyment if we went exact on Zach's um, kind of mirrored version exactly of classic roblox i just don't think that'd be fun on modern roblox it'd certainly be nostalgic but everyone would get tired like that in an instant like the lack of quality of life i mean lower graphics but at the time that was okay it didn't really matter it was a different time and that's okay if it was a different time it's just that i don't think it hold up now and that's kind of also another reason why I think Roblox is kind of doing the newer games, but as a classic version, because they can kind of try and capture that classic feel 
while also still maintaining the quality of a modern game. And I'm not trying to say that the classic game event devs were bad, it's just that the technology at the time wasn't as good. And, I mean, again, it was just a different time. It's not the same anymore. 10, 12, 8 years, man. That's not the same. But, um, yeah, I do have quite a lot of hope in classic Roblox. I want to hear y'all's thoughts in the comments down below. And if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I will be posting how to's for, I'll try to, for all the badges in the event and hopefully all ticks locations. But I mean, we'll just have to see how easy it is. Um, yeah, I hope I see y'all in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment down below, link to Discord in the description. And I'll see y'all in the classic Roblox event. Bye-bye.